Hi everyone, we are Team Peaky Blinders and I'm Shairi and this is our project on anchor-free object detection using multi-level feature pyramid networks. Object detection is fundamentally yet a challenging task in computer vision which requires the algorithm to predict bounding boxes with a category label for each instance of interest in the image to tell what we are trying to achieve. The detection pipeline makes use of at least three major modules, the backbone, the neck and the loss heads. In this project, we aim to combine the best of these modules to implement a single stage anchor free model that is able to make detections with accuracy at par with anchor based implementations. We go on in depth with every module in the process of the presentation. Now I'll hand it over to Beshali. We have used ResNet 101 as the backbone to our model. Anchor free detectors tend to suffer from poor recall values. Thus, we have used feature pyramid networks to eliminate this issue. We generate semantic features from the backbone and then upsample and recombine them to get back resolution. Multi-level feature pyramid networks take this one step further with different levels of depth. Semantic features are extracted at different levels and then recombined and upsampled to generate dense semantic features while retaining resolution. Additionally, MLFPNs only have an attention mechanism via two fully convolutional layers that only focus on the most important channels in a feature map to generate the classification and localization predictions. Object detection models face a class imbalance problem due to more number of points belonging to the background class in the image. It can confuse a simple cross entropy loss into achieving higher accuracy than the actual case. Hence, we have used focal loss in our model to tackle this issue. Focal loss assigns smaller weights to the background class. The hyperparameters are used to overcome the foreground background bias and the imbalance between easy and hard classifications. Coming to the localization loss, we regress each pixel in a feature map to target bounding boxes directly by computing the generalized IOU loss over a 4D localization vector. Finally, a third head called centerness head has been added in this model. This is a measure of the centerness of the positive sample location inside the bounding box. This is added to improve the performance of anchor-free detectors and bring them at par with anchor-based detectors. A centerness mask is used to determine the locations of target and logits with maximum skew from center. I will now hand over the presentation back to Shairi. Given an image, we pass the image through the backbone to generate the feature maps. Specific feature maps from the backbone are then fused via upsampling and concatenation to generate the base features. The base feature is then fed to a multiple U-shaped module or simple FPNs where each FPN represents a level of depth and generates several feature maps with different scales. The base feature and the largest output of the feature map of the previous FPN are fused together and they are fed to the next TUMs. While the shallow FPNs provide high resolution features good for regression tasks, the later FPNs provide dense semantic features good for classification tasks. Now that we see the three levels of the TUM, the feature maps for each FPN are extracted and concatenated. This concatenation happens across the channel dimensions and is done according to scale. These are then passed through the fully convolutional layers to focus attention on important channels only. The output of the fully convolutional layer is passed to the loss heads for computing the three kinds of losses and backpropagating them through the network. We perform several experiments and evaluate our results on the Pascal VOC 2007 test data set. First, we combine a single shot detection anchored model with the FPN and achieve an MAP of 75.13. Next up, we perform the second experiment combining FCOS with FPN on the same dataset and achieve an MAP of 73.13. We notice that even though we make use of anchor-free models, we achieve accuracy almost at par with SOTA anchored models. 
For our third experiment, we combine the SSD anchored model with the MLFPM. On doing so, we achieve an MAP of 0.7988, which is an improvement of 4.75% over the model we had combined only with the FPM. This goes to show that indeed the MLFPM is able to extract better semantic and spatial features with increased depth in the network compared to just using the FPM. Lastly, we test the MLFPN with the anchor-free FCOS model and we achieve an MAP of 0.6898. In conclusion, our anchor-free model is able to achieve good performance with multi-level feature pyramids. However, to improve the MAP further, we must look deeper into the network to better assign the object sizes to the different levels of the multi-level FPN. We also wish to explore with the different levels of the MLFPN to make sure it is more suitable for the VOC dataset. Lastly, we wish to improve upon the attention mechanism incorporated by the fully convolutional layers to encourage features to focus on channels that they benefit from the most after we have concatenated all the levels of the MLFPN based on scale. Thank you.